So everything connected to the, well, my MET, or in this case, yeah, the MET of this um, enclosure. Let's uh, test and lock it on. Hold test and press the red padlock button to lock on the insulation resistance. I love that little trick. Um, see the light there? So incoming line and neutral, it's double pole uh, 61008. So I know going between neutral and the MET, I should get 999. If it's just a single pole, you'll get a reading. If you had a single pole RCBO or single pole with, you know, uh, just switch neutral, you might get a uh, a reading through the neutral on the CVC because of the earthen arrangement, which here we've got uh, we've got a TNS, so we may not have got a reading, but when you, you do when you have like a PME or a TNCS. Anyway, neutral to CPC. Good, no, no, no. Now we're going to go uh, CPC to the line of the new shower. Shower tum number two. Uh, now line to CPC of the shower number one, the priority one. No, no, no. Wicked. Um, that's our. That's all our outgoing ways. So now we're going to go. I'm going to go to neutral. To oh, we're going to go neutral. To <laughs> sake. Neutral. Right. <sighs> Get in there, you bastard. Right, neutral to line of the shower, uh, the new shower, shower number two. All good. There is a neon, I think. Yeah, there's a, on the old shower, um, there's a neon, um, like, pull cord isolator thing which is uh why i've got the read in there um i'll go turn it off and we do it but i'm just going to go around flip the switches i'll flick all the switches that one there which is and that one there which is commonly not done by people but having said that um in the moment you switch on the you flick the switch, it'll uh, highlight the issues anyway. Because it'll bang out, you know, if there was an issue. But here we go, flick the switches. Neutral to CPC, 500 volts, nothing. Line to CPC, but at the MET with the flick switches, 500 volts, 999. Cool. Happy days. Right, I'll connect them in, and then I'm happy that that's safe to turn on. Right, today I am relocating this uh, consumer unit. Um, and go this is gonna be a wall here. Yeah. I'll show you actually. So this is gonna be, there's a bathroom uh, behind there. And they're making it bigger so they can fit in a shower. It's for some pensioners. Um, and they wanna make it a little bit more accessible so they're gonna have a, um, a shower down here. So this is where the consumer unit currently is. and. As you can see, I've gently channeled away the uh, the wall. This, that there, if you can see that, that was a nail, which was part of this shelf. And obviously being pierced through that shelf, I've, I have tugged on it a little bit. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like it's, looks like it's missed the neutral. It looks like there's a the black there. Looks like it's just knit, just on the gray sheath. Anyway, um, all the way up to the ceiling. I've just notched out that joist at the top there. I don't know if you can see it, just notched it out up there. Um, and I'm gonna pass the cables through. And then down here, I'm gonna put 100 by 100. Oh, hang on, where am I going? There, there. I'm gonna do 100 by 50 trunking down and then mount the board probably somewhere, but well, this is all going, but I'll put the board about there, just above that, so that door height, just at the top there. Um, now, I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick test. I already have done it, but I'll do it just to show you. Um, I mean, the board is moving regardless of what the results are. So, um, 250. Yeah, 
250 um, locker on. Cool. Main thing is neutral to CPC. So I'm going to go to the neutral bar and the MET and hopefully. What have we got? 1.6 something mega ohms. So there may be something going on there. All right, disconnect the circuit. I mean, like I said, it's, it's happening regardless of what I do. So um, I just got whether I have a headache now or, or, or later. So I might drop out some neutrals and see where it's coming from. Forgot to, I forgot to show you pre-board check. Um, there's two lighting circuits. So you go to the neutral of one uh, circuit conductor and the line of another one, flick switches, it should stay like this. If it registers dead short, you know you have some kind of borrowed or shared neutral. I've got another video or a highlight, which you can find out where I explain about it more, but that's another test to do pre-board change. Test, lock it on. On the MET, now I've connected all the CPCs just to check if not damaged, or there's no damage between any of the other circuits or the other cables. Good. 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 I'd expect it to be all perfect anyway. New circuits. Trunk and surface. There's no risk. But all good. Nice. Let's go between line and neutral now. It's going to go 500. Lock it on. So that was line to earth. CPC, sorry. There's neutral to CPC for the boiler. Uh, there's line to CPC on the hob. Neutral to CPC on the whew, on the hob. Get it in there. There it is. Cool. And then bleh, line to CPC. There you go. Oven, oven and neutral to CPC on the oven. Cool. All in a minute. Right. Right. When I take out there you go. When I take out that circuit, that neutral conductor from that circuit number uh, three, this one, it clears. That's I had a quick look around. We got this does a socket in the cupboard next to me, which does uh, used to do the old heater lights. This does, I think, which is what this neutral is, is a socket uh, in the lounge. Um, it goes surface into that cupboard and then drilled straight through back to back into a single one gang socket. So I'll have a little quick look at that. Um, and then the ring circuit is good, we know, and then that's a shower, which is a 9.5 kilowatt shower. So I'll, I was going to reduce it to a 32, uh, but I might keep it on a 40. Um, I see it's all surface entry, and there's no rear entry. There's a 6 mil for shower, water, sorry, gas bond in, water bond in 6 mil short. But see, it looks pretty straightforward to be honest. So let's go to um, insulation resistance and see if this if, one, if this is clear, then I know when I put the RCBO in, it won't trip. Let's go there. Only need to go on one of them because we know it's a ring, ring final. Neutral, CPC, 250. Please be clear. Yeah, look at it. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Cool. I've got the RCBO in the van. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Let me swap that out. Nice and clear. Cool, so I don't think there's an interconnection at all. So I'm happy to put them back on, uh, or put them on their own separate RCBA. You know what it's like if you've got a single RCD, it won't pick it up. So it's the downstairs uh, ring final. I'd lock on the test, lock it on. So just to the neutral bar, clear. But if I go to the neutral or the ring final, dead short. There is something going on there. Now, who can tell me what? 250, it's clear. Oh. 
flick the light switch, which would normally do the, the landing light, which is normally where you find it. Press test again. So I know there's no shared neutral here. But if there was, that would read dead short between the line of the downstairs circuit and the neutral of the upstairs circuit. Right, that, that job's done. I've got to say, I've, there are some people who who don't do insulation resistance testing and their argument is like, well, it's on an RCD, isn't it? Doesn't matter. You know, the RCD will trip if there's a problem. And yeah, you're right, but, <laughs> but we're not... The, the RCD's primary function isn't to isn't for us to rely on if the insulation resistance deteriorates. Um, it's there for another purpose. But so I, I hate that argument that oh they don't test because it's on an RCD. Like when I do insulation resistance testing, you're, you're testing the insulation. You're testing the resistance of the insulation around the cables and the conductors. Sorry. And uh, even if it is on an RC, you could monitor, you could test it, and that's why we have period periodic testing. You can monitor its deterioration, if it is deteriorating. You, know, you can see the difference between tests. Anyway, some of you will agree, some of you won't. We'll go through the whole circus. Some of you will message me, some of you won't. Some of you will moan behind my back. Oh, hey! <laughs> I think you should do it, and I always have done it. And the argument that you don't do it because it's on an RCD is mad because it still might be deteriorating and you would only highlight that if you perform the insulation resistance test. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to it, shall we? <clears throat> I've been called out to a client whose uh, kitchen ring is tripping out the RCD and just pure luck I pulled off this socket first I was getting dead short between neutral and CPC so I split it at the board split it at this socket and now it's clear I think it's something to do with this <laughs> 